The tenth clause of the ISO 27002 standard is called System Acquisition, Development, and Maintenance. It has three categories, and the first is called Security Requirements of Information Systems. The objective of this category is that information security is applied to the entire life cycle of any information system in the organization. This category has three controls, and the first is called Information Security Requirements Analysis and Specifications. This control ensures that any new system or upgrades to existing systems should conform to the information security requirements of the organization, which is often overlooked for the sake of performance and better capabilities. Identifying the required level of security requirements has several dependencies. It is influenced by the sensitivity of the information that the systems will handle, the level of threat that the organization faces, and the compliance requirements to standards, policies, and frameworks. Once the security requirements have been identified, they should be integrated into the early stages of new information system projects. Implementing security controls in the planning and design stages, provides a solid base to build on, and saves lots of efforts later on when trying to manage security issues. A new information system project should consider, user authentication requirements, access control requirements, data protection requirements, as well as logging and monitoring requirements. In case of the involvement of third-party suppliers, the underlying contracts should address the security requirements, which should be verified and tested before final acceptance.